Slim Bama, you got them city. Where they call me Petro, right? Where they call me Petro, right? Huh? Yeah, I'm in mean, Gotham City in the Batmobile Even though it get crazy, niggas don't talk like Swayze When I shoot my shot, it switch, don't play me We on that block from the night to the noon I'm talking to that cause you know it's not cool You thought they was lying, whole time they was telling the truth You hang yourself and you ain't need a rope This party busting, that shit not a coach I switch it up so they call me the GOAT don't follow What up? This is Swayze and I'm gonna make this a quick video Because honestly, I have some questions that I need answered and hopefully you guys could pull up in the comment section and help me out with that. But before I get into the video, let me introduce you people to my new best friend. And her name is Sharice. And she says, this is for breakfast. Thank you, Sharice. You are honestly and truly appreciated oh and my boy manuel he's been the best friend he's a reoccurring best friend and he says nigga you got high blood pressure nah the youtube k fund is still active thanks manuel i think we had to close out the bacon egg and cheese fund bro we gotta close it out the doctor said it's too much fried food no more best i fish fry for me no more bacon egg and cheeses only three times a week bro i gotta cut down but thanks my guy you are honestly and truly appreciated now bruh if you're not aware dj academics just dropped his first podcast interviewing 6ix9ine and bruh he's up there saying anything he said casanova snitching on people and i'm like oh nah not the big ape and he also said that him and the yg's was doing some very unsavory things in the bathroom on rikers island now i'm gonna let you guys check this out and i'll be right back with my commentary right now you talking about right now in 2015 when i was on rikers island in the three building at a top i was getting in the bathroom with yg hey it. yo what what did he say say that again right now you talking about right now uh -huh. in 2015 when i was on rikers island in the three building at a top i was getting in the bathroom with YG niggas. what do you mean brother talking about getting it with yg niggas in the bathroom at rikers island y'all was getting it on Doing it and doing it and doing it well. Nah, but all jokes aside, oh no, not the YGs. So I'm gonna need one of you gangsters to pull up and break this down for me. What was they doing in that bathroom? Was they just terrorizing 6ix9ine? Was they making him buff the two? Or was 6ix9ine just simply getting jumped into the YGs and that whole thing was a gang initiation? I need answers. Are you telling me that 6ix9ine was YG's? Then he turned Crip? Then he turned Entree? Are you shitting me? This is crazy. Yo, I need to know who it was. Which one of you YG niggas was stomping 6ix9ine's ears together? Or getting your ears stomped together by 6ix9ine? Don't be embarrassed. Pull up in the comment section and let me know. I'm trying to get the exclusive way before New York State of Mind does. But pull up in the comment section and let me know how you feel about this situation. And if you like the video, don't forget to share, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and make sure you hit that notification button. But I'm off this. Mike, we gon' up it and dump. We been that block up on them, put the knock up on them. Now let's see who really acting tough. Like, like, but you telling me what? Nah. Lil shifty go dumb. Niggas be talking crazy and that shit amaze me cause they run when they don't got that gun. Gah. Yeah, you 